Hi, I'm Siobhan Prentwell from the Children's Therapy Centre. I'm a child and adolescent psychotherapist specialising in play therapy and I'm the MA course leader here at CTC on our Masters in Creative Psychotherapy which incorporates our postgraduate diploma in play therapy. I was recently contacted by Social Care Ireland and they asked if we here at CTC would be able to perhaps offer some words of support and some creative self-care ideas for the social care workers across Ireland who are continuing to work on the front line with some of the most vulnerable children, teenagers and adults in our communities. So we at CTC are delighted to be able to help. So I pulled together some of our team members here and what we're going to do is collaborate together to offer some supportive videos each day for this coming week. So today, I myself, Siobhan, will be sharing some ideas with you. We're also going to have Adele Lawler from Expressive Play Therapy and Training in Kerry. We're going to have Emer McDonough, the current chairperson of IAPTP, the Irish Association for Play Therapy and Psychotherapy. And we're also going to have the lovely Laura Coleman from Mayo Therapy Centre. And what we're hoping to do is share a video each day that's going to highlight some supportive self-care activities for the social care workers across Ireland to engage in themselves. And also perhaps these ideas might be creative ways that you can use some creative self-care tools with the children, teenagers and the adults that you're currently working with. So we know that the social care workers of Ireland are out on the front line. They're continuing their work during this pandemic. And it's a very difficult time for all of us across Ireland and of course across the world as well. So what we're hoping to do is share some ideas that might be helpful for everybody involved. So today the first thing that I'm hoping to do is to encourage you to acknowledge the things that you're missing out on. Because obviously we've all had to change our lifestyles pretty much overnight. We can't do the same things that we used to do. We can't visit the people that we love. We can't engage in lots of the things that we would normally do for our own self-care. That's really important for social care workers across the country to engage in. So what I'm going to be inviting you to do is to create your very own after the virus box, okay? So I wanna be creative in how we do it. So take a box, it could be a tissue box, it could be a shoe box, anything, you can make a box. So this is one that my own children made. These are ones that are just decorated with a little bit of crepe paper and a little bit of ribbon, it's a tissue box. So it's going to be an after the virus box that you're going to create for yourself. Then I'm inviting you to take time to reflect on and think about the people that you're missing, the things that you're missing doing. And I'm also inviting you to hold on to hope. Hope that normal life will return. Hope that you are going to be able to meet the people that you're missing out on now. Hope that you're going to be able to give the hugs that you're missing out on giving. Okay, so what I'm inviting you to do is when you notice, when you recognise that you're missing somebody or missing something, that you acknowledge that, that you write that down perhaps or that you draw it creatively on a piece of paper and then you're going to store that idea in your after the virus box. And then after the virus, you're going to be able to dip into those ideas and you're going to be able to do all of the things that you're really wishing you were able to do now. Um, so I think this is a really positive idea for adults to do for themselves, for their own self-care at this time, but it's also something really nice that we can do with children, teenagers and adults that we're working with. So I hope that would be a positive one for the social care workers across Ireland to allow themselves to acknowledge the things that they're missing out on, but also hold on to hope and to store those ideas, those things that they're missing in their very special after the virus box. So you don't need lots of mm, expensive tools to do it. Any box will do, any creative tools will do, and then you're literally writing or drawing and popping your idea in. So the second idea that I have for you today, what I would say to the social care workers across Ireland is, you are continuing to give gifts to the children, the, the teenagers, the adults that you're working with on a daily basis. By you being with them and connecting with them and continuing your very valuable work with them, you're letting them know every day that they're cared for. You're letting them know every day that they're valued, that they're loved. And these are really important messages for everybody to receive. Now at this time for the social care workers across Ireland, what I'm asking and inviting you to do is to give yourself some of these gifts as well, because you are very valued. You are very loved. Your work is really appreciated, but it can be difficult at this time for people to be able to give you those messages. So I'm inviting you during this pandemic to give yourselves positive affirmations, positive messages to yourself so that you can be receiving these gifts each day.
So you can easily download some positive affirmations from the internet. I have some that I would regularly have in my room, so simple ones. Today I will have hope, like a candle. I can do it, very strong positive messages that we all need to hear. So you could download these and you could pick one up each morning and read it and that could be your affirmation for the day. But it's also really nice to be creative and to make your own positive affirmations. So you can just simply write ideas on sticks. So this one, I am valued. And of course, all of the social care practitioners across the country are very valued. So to be able to give yourself that message in the morning and repeat it to yourself as the day goes on. You can pop these lollipop sticks. This is just a glass that I created just with some little glittery bits stuck on. And these are ones that are just painted jam jars. So they're just nice creative ideas as to where you can store your positive affirmations. Now, another thing, of course, is that you can just create your own so you can decorate, you can write a message on a card and you can decorate it. And these are really strong, important messages for the social care practitioners across the country to be able to receive each day. So I would definitely invite you to give yourself positive affirmations each day as you're working on the front line through this pandemic. Now, these two ideas are definitely transferable and they will be great self-care activities that you could engage in with the children, teenagers and the adults indeed that you're working at this difficult time. So I hope that you've enjoyed those activities today and I'm looking forward to the week ahead where some of the rest of the CTC team are going to be coming online and sharing more creative, supportive ideas for the social care practitioners across the country. So thank you to Social Care Ireland for inviting CTC to get involved in this great initiative and thank you to all of the social care professionals across the country working on the front line day in and day out.